Hello there, this is Andrew Swanscott here and thanks for joining us for another session of Thursday's Trading Thought. Now today I want to have a quick chat about technology and in particular blockchain. We're seeing more and more articles about blockchain in the news and uh, there's been a lot of hype about the potential applications of this technology. Um, some people have even said that uh, the blockchain will have a greater impact on our lives than any other technology that exists today. So, I mean, that, how, how huge is that? Now, much of the hype around blockchain has been focused on the financial industry or um, the potential for blockchain to fundamentally change the financial services industry, which kind of got me thinking about how could this impact us in the future, both as traders and as fine, upstanding members of society. <laughs> anyway, my own personal knowledge of blockchain was pretty limited. Um, actually, to be honest, even though I'd heard of it a number of times, I didn't really have an idea of what it was. But I do remember that Bert Moller mentioned it in episode 64 of the podcast, where we were discussing cryptocurrencies. So I asked Bert to come back on the show and give us a, a very quick introduction into blockchain, what it is, why people are so excited about it, um, the possible applications to the financial services industry, traders and society in general. So, so let's head over to Bert now and hear what the fuss is all about. Thanks, Bert, for joining us to have a bit of a chat about blockchain. Now, can we start by explaining what actually is blockchain? Uh, blockchain is a digital ledger system. It's a distributed digital ledger system. It's kind of like you know, in a bank, the bank holds ledger for your you know, checking account. And when you move some money from your checking account to another person's checking account, the bank's going to take care of all this, right? That's They have some sort of system that they use to, to know that, you know, my $1,000 came and went to, you know, your, your account. Um, so this is a technology that's distributed. It's, it runs, you know, on over the internet. Um, it's uh, decentralized and it basically fulfills the function of, uh, a ledger, and that could be for you know not only f for for banks, for for any asset, um, and and more uh, other other different things like uh, even potentially you know, electronic medical records, you know, that kind of stuff. So that decentralization is that the main um, feature that people are getting excited about, or is there more to it than that? I think I mean it depends what people you're talking about, right? If you if you're talking about people in finance, uh, people in trading, uh, for me personally, for example. I, I really like the blockchain, um, you know, because in my opinion, you know, it, this is the technology that's going to, you know, yeah, I don't know if it's going to replace banks, but it'll definitely make everything in the banking system a lot more efficient, which makes, you know, things cheaper for me as a businessman, you know, reduce you know, everything from cost of capital to trading costs. And, you know, because banks are currently making, you know, a fraction of every transaction that goes through their network and basically here this is uh democratized so that not only banks can make money on this and it also results in a smaller transaction um, a relative transaction uh commission or you know tax or whatever you want to call it for the user yeah so do you think the implementation of blockchain may actually um reduce the dependency on clearing houses and um exchanges like futures exchanges and stuff like that I don't know if it'll reduce the dependency on exchanges, right? Because you're still going to have to exchange assets. You're still have to fairly. You're, you're going to have to have price discovery mechanisms in place. But uh, clearing houses, maybe. You know, it's. Uh, I was reading an article, for example, in, in real estate. Right, there is uh, always an escrow company uh, that holds the money. You know, in escrow, <laughs> uh, and then there is a title company that verifies that you know whoever you're buying or whoever's selling the. The person actually owned the house and whatnot, and th those kind of things uh, th that can be replaced by the blockchain, for example. And um, those people, title companies, those businesses, uh, escrow companies, they charge uh, also a couple percent uh, of the transaction, which is huge. You know, I mean, think about how many real estate transactions there are. You know, let's say in the United States, it's in the billions a year. So uh, a couple percent of that is is a good, you know, reduction in fees and increase in efficiency. That's money that could be spent you know let's say creating new things or i don't know yeah so it sounds like there's a lot of possible applications for blockchain outside of the um the banking industry or, or trading um in particular but is there anything that uh, traders need to be aware of or start thinking about for the future in regards to blockchain i mean i don't think that it's going to affect trading 
uh, per se, you know, trading specifically. Uh, it could affect, um, for example, I think there's some companies that are doing something with issuing their stock uh, using some blockchain technology, but uh, the stock should be traded, and you know, I think probably in the next five years, decade, it should still be trading the same way regular stocks are traded now. Um, it could uh, create new markets. I mean, it is creating new markets, right? Uh, if you think of cryptocurrencies, right, the, all, all every currency is a new market to be trading. Most of them are based on some some blockchain technology, and so um, it's it's creating more opportunity, I would say. But uh, as far as regular, you know, stocks, bonds, uh, trading, I don't think it's going to affect much in the near future. Yeah, cool. Well, my um, my partner she works for a law firm here in Australia, and they're in the legal industry, they're all very excited about um, the applications of blockchain for contracts and, and changes in contracts and things. So I think that kind of application could really just uh, apply to any industry whatsoever. That, that could also apply to trading as well. So Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the technology applies anywhere that you have a, a, you know, a ledger, right? So that's, that's many, many things. Anywhere you're registering, you have, uh, you have some sort of ledger, right? So the bank, even email lists, for example. <laughs> Yeah. You can apply it there, yeah. So maybe that 40-page application form you need to fill out to open a trading account with some of these big brokers might be a thing of the past soon, which which is going to be a good <laughs> thing, right? <laughs> no, that would be nice. Exactly. All right, Bert. Well, thank you very much for uh, having a quick chat about blockchain. Um, before we go, how can people find out more about you? Uh, you can always reach out on Twitter. Uh, it's B-M-O-U-L-E-R. Or uh, my website, uh, my firm, profluentcapital.com, P-R-O-F-L-U-E-N-T, capital.com. Or my LinkedIn, which is uh, Bert Muller. Yep, cool. Thanks, Bert. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Thanks, Bert, for that brief introduction into blockchain. Now, obviously, that was a, a very short explanation and there is lots more to it. So if you want more info, I have some more info for you on the show notes page at bettersystemtrader.com slash 69. Now, there's a book called Blockchain Revolution, which I'm currently reading. I think I'm about halfway through. Um, it's pretty good. It's not really about trading, but it's interesting anyway. So if you want to know more about blockchain, you may want to take a look at that one. Uh, I have a link to that and also there's a few other articles on the show notes page which I found quite interesting as well. So you can access all of those at bettersystemtrader.com slash 69. Anyway, I'll catch you in a few days time for the next podcast interview where we discuss the most expensive lesson a trader could make. Think you know what it is? Well, all will be revealed very soon. So enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening to Better System Trader.